I'm here for the Consumer Electronics Show CES 2020. Hi, I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com, and I'm here to check out what some of the hugest technology brands in the world are doing, as well as what some of the smaller companies are up to. CES, or the annual Consumer Electronics Show, can be an overwhelming event. Everyone is showing off the best and newest technology. Here's just a sample of what I saw on day one. Let's start with the smart door from LG. When you're getting a delivery, the driver gets a QR code that gives them access to your LG refrigerated fresh keeper door for groceries or to the regular delivery box. That's secure. Now, when you get home, use your biometrics to open the front door and you can access your stuff from inside your home. Watch for more in 2020 on rotating TVs. Manufacturers are creating TVs that will swap automatically on special rotating mounts from vertical to horizontal to match the orientation of the video you want to watch. It's TV for the Snapchat generation. Samsung has one called Cero, as does Hisense, and I saw a couple others as well. Speaking of TVs, LG has a new rolling screen, but this isn't just projector paper. No, this is a legit TV that rolls up and tucks away, but still gives you all the clarity and resolution of a real TV. What's better than a spinning TV or a roll-up television? How about one that looks like it isn't even there at all when you don't want to see it? Sony announced a car with their executive calling autos the new major entertainment space making it seem to make sense for Sony to advance in this direction. In a future with driverless or self-driving cars, having more entertainment options along your route, especially long commutes, actually kind of makes sense. Not to be outdone, but Hyundai announced a flying car, a flying taxi to be specific. Yesterday, Hyundai announced it was going into a partnership with Uber to make flying taxis. This is the life-size prototype. Not just a concept, there's an actual date for when these will roll out, just three years from now in 2020. I also saw lots of mobility solutions, cars that are shuttles, that are tiny homes, that could be taxis, and just ways to get you around, all driverless of course, but mainly still conceptual. And what would a tech show be without robots? Hello, Hobot window washer. Hey, Samsung Volley personal assistant on the move. Hello LG dishwashing robot and what's up Samsung Botchef. Those are the highlights from CES 2020 day one. Just a reminder, if you want to check out what else I'm seeing, I'm posting a lot of stuff on social media. Head over to Twitter or Instagram and find me at ErinLYYC. You can also always check out what I'm doing at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.